Hello, everyone. Welcome to Kane Technology SMB Neo Series Media Player Tutorial Video. In this video, we will introduce the user interface of Playback Schedule. Calendar View 1. Views Menu You can change the video mode to see one day, three day, one week, or one month schedules. Now, let's take week as an example. The first one will be today's date. The second part will show some shortcuts of the current week and before or after that week. You can also use the day picker to select a specific week you want. 2. Calendar and List Views You can choose to manage schedules via either the calendar or list view. Right now, it is the calendar view. We will introduce more about the list view later. 3 and 4 should be considered together as one set. First, you decide whether it is a master schedule or sub-schedule. Then you will have corresponding functions for you to add a schedule tag. Now you might have a question, what are master schedule and sub-schedule? Normally, you add schedule tags on the master schedule. Sub-schedule is designed for those people who need to separately edit different schedules for each zone of the skin playback method. With this structure, SMP Neo can provide users with the most flexibility to arrange schedules mixing different playback modes, various media types, and multi-zone presentations. 5. Schedule Filter You can use the filter to show a specific type of schedule tags, for example, weekly or monthly schedules. 6. You can find more settings and functions here. For example, you can export, import, or delete schedule tags. 7. Zoom in and zoom out. You can use this tool to enlarge or reduce the view of the calendar. Now let's move on to the list view. 1. Views menu. You can choose to see schedules in one day or duration view. 2. After you choose one day or duration view, you can choose to see schedules of a specific date or time period. The system provides some shortcuts for you to select a date or time period quickly. You can also use the date picker to select any specific date you want. 3. In one day view, the first column will be the time of that specific date. Therefore, you can use the timeline to check schedules. 4. In duration view, the first column will show the frequency of schedule tags. Therefore, you can check the total number of tags based on the playback frequency. That is once, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or location during a specific period of time. For detailed usage of all playback functions, please refer to SMP's online help. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Kane Technology.